So as you guys have heard, comparison is the thief of all joy, right? It robs you of looking at your own wins and celebrating your own progress because you're always thinking of the other person and how much they're winning in life and how much they're doing good and how much their fitness is good and all, their physique looks good. And that focus into in this regards, you know, not obviously when I say put your eyes on others, often I say like being less selfless, like to be serving others. But in this regards, when you put your eyes on others, you're only looking at all the things they're doing well and look, not looking at your own wins. So this is problematic because then you fail to celebrate your own progress and this will derail you. The reason is because you feel like you're not moving forward or you're not progressing, you'll self-sabotage. You'll start to go, well, what's the point? Why am I working so hard? I don't want to go to the gym anymore. I'm not motivated or like I'm doing all this. I'm eating clean and I'm still not seeing results. I might as well go have that bag of chips and that candy bar, right? It will self-sabotage you because you fail to celebrate your own wins. So this is one of the reasons why I, I emphasize a lot to my own clients that you really need to celebrate your own wins. You guys know I'm a stickler for that and you see a lot of wins come out because when you really are willing to recognize your own wins, you give yourself space to go, okay, I am doing good. Okay, like in my journey, I am uh, moving forward. It doesn't matter about other people, but I'm moving forward, right? And so Shariza, that's you. You, you tend to compare, right? You tend to compare. Um, and so uh, the biggest thing is also understanding that we're all so different, right? We have a set of DNA epigenetics that like expressed in under different environments. You have certain body types, you have certain personalities, temperaments, jobs, you do different types of activity. So there's so many different things that affect your total progress. There's not really anyone like exactly you. Um, and so your journey is gonna look different. Like. Oshone's journey is going to look different, right? Than um, Debbie's and different from Vivian's. You, every one of you are different. And so it's really becoming okay with yourself. We celebrate every win. Um, and this becomes hard. So this becomes hard to celebrate your wins, particularly like, or like to stop comparing. So people tend to compare. I'll tell you when they compare. Just like I said for you, Joanne, when you're trying to really strive for something, that's when you tend to compare more because you really want to get the results. But the second part of where you tend to compare where people will start to get very disheartened is when you plateau. And everyone is going to plateau. It's just a part of life. It's going to happen. So, you know, just kind of like if you're going to fall off or not, you're going to fall off. That's just part of life. So you are going to plateau. And when you plateau, it is hard at that point to not compare. Because everybody else is moving forward and you feel like you're not. Am I correct? Who here has plateaued before? Put plateau before. Or if you're currently at a plateau, put plateau. Because if you have plateaued before or you're at a plateau, I almost guarantee you're closer to a comparison mode right now than before. Because you'll be like, well, nothing's changing. I lost no pounds or no inches. Wait, I read this person lost... 15 inches off their midsection. What? You know, like you start to compare when you're at a plateau. Exactly. Joanne knows that because when you don't see as many changes, that's when you compare. When you're at a plateau, that's when you start to compare, right? This is usually where it starts to like really come into play. And it's at this point when, when you have a plateau, of course, it makes sense that you're almost like wanting to compare more, but it's, it's really learning to take the situation that you have like even if you're at a plateau and learning to be unemotional about the results so i'm trying to try to explain this the right way so typically we get really emotional about our results but if we can kind of have and vivian remembers this have a data collection mindset like where we're like okay everything that i'm learning okay it is like telling me something about maybe i'm doing right or i'm doing wrong and I have to make certain tweaks let's collect the data let's make the appropriate changes to move forward so if you use what your current situation is to fuel new growth new learning 
then you're not going to become disheartened. You become disheartened when you sit in it. Again, similar to the fall off the horse and you sit down up by the horse's feet and get trampled, right? Is when you are plateaued or you're not moving forward. Um, Obiati says we all have plateau. It's our own individual journey with the right guidance. Exactly, exactly, Obiati. Thank you. Yes. So it's your own journey, right? So, um, and if you can take the mindset, right, and shift it. So it's not just about plateauing, but you go, okay, I plateaued. Now, what is this telling me about X, Y, Z? Maybe is my stress too high? How has my sleep been? Hmm. Um, what if it's telling me that my, um, like for some of my clients, like we realize they are actually insulin resistant a little bit. Okay. We need to adjust your macros a little bit because you are actually a little bit insulin resistant. And so you can take so this is about getting out of the mindset trap, right? Like, <laughs> you know, kind of like the picture, I know that's at a ninja gym where you jump between two walls and you have to get through by being on the wall. That picture yesterday I posted is exactly a little bit like this. Sometimes we feel like we're stuck. We don't know what to do. And you, you have to look at it from a new perspective. You have to go at it from a new perspective. And the new perspective is like, okay, I'm at a plateau. What is this teaching me? What can I learn? How can I uh, grow from this? And then when you have that mindset, you won't uh, compare as much because you're actually like embracing your journey and you're focused on your journey and your growth, similar to what just Beate said, right? So um, how many of you, when you hit a plateau, have adapted a growth mindset or you feel like, oh, you know what? I need to work on a growth mindset so put a growth mindset if you need to work on it because i know that in any situation if you can take it and have a growth and solution seeking mindset you're going to do amazing things in any part of your life whereas whether it's financially whether it's in business whether it's fitness whether it's in any area if you have a growth mindset you're going to do amazing at it so um put below if you feel like you need growth mindset more okay now continue with this the same topic of comparison as a mind trap i gave you some solutions to reframe and to think about it uh, i want to also share a little bit more around some key mindset shifts that i really have learned a lot from my mentors have talked about uh this whole idea of comparison so i really loved learning this when my mentor had said you know someone else's success does not mean your loss and I thought that was wonderful because when you see someone else succeed, it doesn't mean it's your loss. You know, it could they win and you win. And it doesn't have to be always this win lose. I mean, if they they're doing so well, it means I'm not doing well. Right. So it's changing the mindset to abundancy mindset versus scarcity mindset. Abundancy mindset says, awesome. There's enough good looks, beauty, fit people, six pack abs <laughs> although six pack abs is very just about being uh like for a season um but like there's enough you know you know all these good attributes to go around for everyone it's not like there isn't enough if she has it then i don't have it if this person is fit then maybe i'm not as fit um it, abundancy mindset means you embrace that there is enough for everyone and therefore someone else's success is not your loss and you you can sit more confidently in yourself because you're like awesome she's beautiful i'm beautiful she's fit i'm fit you know it just becomes this amazing uh, mindset you have of cheering other people on of becoming like like the whole idea of our community fierce woman community is to raise up uh, fierce and fit women to help you guys all grow to cheer each other on right so to like use this as a way to like help others grow because there's enough to go around right so um so it's like keeping that mindset in place um, yes, thanks for the hearts, Vivian. And then secondly, um, so there's going to be people that are, you know, so this is a mindset for my mentor. So she always, she said, you know, in life, there's always going to be competitions. Um, there's going to be like people who are recognized, um, who are recognized more for certain things. Um, you know, it's a part of, it's a part of like, it's a part of life. Like, 
you know, there's kind of this whole movement right now, like in school and things like that, where it's like, oh yeah, there's no winner and everyone's a winner. Everyone gets a medal, right? And I know that my mentors are really against this because they say like, you can't just say everyone's a winner. You just can't say everyone is like, it, it's like, it's like it takes away people's like, competitive edge to want to be better and all of that it's okay to have someone who's first place second place third place so this is a very interesting concept because it's like okay so if it is okay to have healthy competition and to have and pull the best out of people um how do you how do you actually like like navigate that right because you know, their reality is there is going to be some people that are further ahead, some people that may be more fit than you right now. And so this mindset is very interesting because you're not, it's not to like close your eyes to be like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm never going to look at another fit person or um, like, oh, we're just, we're just all like, we're all equal in worth, but it's actually being okay with seeing other people's successes and celebrating it and it's changing the mindset okay so comparison or like someone else maybe being more fit than you or whatnot um is okay if you change the perspective so comparison versus inspiration okay because because I know that, like, I'll, I'll explain this first before I dive off onto another line of thought. Comparison is feeling less than. Typically, that that term means, like, you feel like you're less than that person or less good or less fit. It's comparison is feeling less than. Inspiration is feeling pulled to be better. So one that feels less than, inspiration is feeling pulled to be better. So it's only a slight mindset shift, but if you can shift your mindset from comparing to being inspired, you change a lot of your filtering, right? Because really everything has no meaning to it. Only people attach meanings to it. So if you can attach a new meaning to something, you change your whole perspective on things. So if you go, um, you know, wow, I see this really fit person who is like, you know, my next goal is muscle ups. I love muscle ups and watching all these muscle up things and all of these things. And I'm like, whoa, this is so cool. And I use that as fuel to inspire me, to pull me to become better. Then you are in a positive place. You are being forward pulled. You're motivated. You, you, be you believe you can maybe uh, one day achieve that, right? Uh, for some of you, it's just a, a mindset tweak. That's all it is. So changing when you see someone really fit or really ahead of you, have an amazing fit body, look really good. It's to change it from feeling less than and change it to being feeling like being pulled towards something greater. And that's how I've always um, like for me, uh, I, when I see people who are really successful, really fit, I just go, wow, like that's awesome. What can I do to learn to do that? You know, what can I do to better myself? And I use it as like, uh, you know, inspiration, right?